Hi, this is Pastor Darrell Myatt from Keller, Texas, with an encouraging word today. You know, you hear a lot about shootings around America, mass killings, death, destruction, hatred, racism, division, all kinds of things. The Bible tells us we're going to see more and more of this the closer we get to the return of Christ. So I just want to encourage you today in the Lord and to try to help you understand these things will happen. These things will come to pass. Paul tells us in 2 Timothy 3, starting in verse 12, Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Jesus Christ. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Jesus told us the time prior to his return would be a time like the world has never seen, nor will ever see again in Matthew 24. We're watching so many calling good evil, calling evil good. Isaiah warned us about these people in 5 verse 20, saying, Woe to those who call good evil. Today you have so many people calling gay marriage good. Abortion, murder of unborn babies, good. Christians, those who follow after the Bible and Jesus Christ, they're bad. They're evil. They're bigots. They're homophobes. They're Islamophobes. You know, I have to say, I would rather please my Lord than to please man. The Bible tells us man's heart is evil continuously. There is none that does good, no, not one. There was one man who lived a life without sin. His name was Jesus. Iesus in the Greek, Yeshua in the Hebrew, the son of the living God the Messiah that was prophesied, God in human flesh, the Savior of the world. He died on a cross, just like it was prophesied. He was buried, and He rose again on the third day, just like He said He would. And He's the only one that can save you from this world. He's the only one that can save you from your sin. He's the only one that can save you from hell. He's the only one who can save you from the devil. He's the only one who can save you from your own wicked flesh. My hope and prayer is that you trust Him today as Lord, Savior, and King because there is no other name under heaven by which you must be saved. Jesus Christ is Lord of all. Every knee will bow down before Him when He returns. But you see, if you don't know Him as Lord and Savior before He returns, then it's too late for you. Sure, everyone's going to believe when they see Him with their eyes, when they hear Him with their ears when they feel Him with their hearts. Everyone will believe then. But you see, you need to have faith now. Because the Bible tells us in Hebrews 11 verse 6 that without faith it's impossible to please God. Who are you going to believe? A bunch of liars? Or are you going to believe the truth of God's Word? God's Word is truth. It was inspired by God. It's useful for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that you may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works, His Word says. We're going to see so many wicked things come about, and sadly, it seems we've become so used to it, like it's the new normal. We'll see little towns completely wiped out. We'll see churches stormed, burned down, Christians beheaded for their faith in Christ. It's coming. I'm not telling you this to try to scare you. It's all in here. 
Bible says the Antichrist makes war against the saints and actually overcomes them. Put on the full armor of God. Because people, we are at battle. This is a war. It's a spiritual war. Battle of good against evil. Jesus said, I didn't come to bring peace, but division. What division does Jesus bring? Well, I can tell you right now. He divides this world into two groups. Those who believe him and those who don't. In Matthew 25, Jesus speaks of them separating the sheep from the goats. The sheep at God's right hand. The goat at God's left. Those who know Christ as Lord and Savior will inherit everlasting life. Those who don't know Him, everlasting torment, everlasting separation from God. Trust Jesus today because He's the only one who can save you from everything that's about to happen. Trust Him. Stay on your knees in prayer. Stay in the Word and stand strong on God's promises. Christ is King and He's coming very soon. I love you guys. God bless you. Good Lord willing, I'll see you again tomorrow.